Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so in my last video, I tried that color split with the beautiful sage green color. I knew it was there was a name to it. I just couldn't think of it. But thank you to everyone who commented in the video and said it's like a sage color. So yes, sage it is. Um, I loved it. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. And let me show you guys the dried results. Let me just grab it here. There's one spot that's still wet on it um, because I did do this pour on Monday and today's actually Wednesday. Um, usually I do my pours a couple of days before I release the video, but I didn't have time. So it's still wet right here, as you can see, just this one spot right here, but the rest of it is dry. Look how nice it dried. So look at that. I love the gold in there. I love the shimmer. It's so pretty. And then let me move over on this side. Let me make sure I don't put my finger in any part of the wet stuff, but uh, you can see it's still wet right, right there. But uh, I'm so happy with this piece. So this is a, a 12 by 36 inch canvas. And it is available for purchase for anyone uh, who is interested. Look at it, it's so pretty. So I am uh, going to be doing a lot more of these. Uh, even in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another one with a different color base. And I think the possibilities really are uh, endless with these. And I'm going to be trying um, a few more paintings uh, with this color split. Uh, I'm different color bases. I have so many ideas in my head. It's not even funny. So yeah, super happy with that piece and how it dried. Um, what else? Crystal resin. If you remember, I told you guys about a big collaboration sale that I am working on with crystal resin. You can get 25% off your crystal resin. So you get crystal resin um, you get a uh, three, no, three, six uh, glitters, a mica pigment powder, and I believe a stir stick. I can't remember. I'll put the picture up right here. That's all the stuff you get, and it's 25% off. There's only 75 kits available, and they're more than half sold out already. So it is free shipping to the U.S. and to Canada. And for those of you who are in the U.S., think of it this way. It is in Canadian currency. So when you buy it on the Crystal Resin website, it actually ends up being cheaper for you because of the currency exchange rate. So if you want to save some money and get a good deal, now is the time. Go to crystalresin.com and find that uh, promo package, collaboration package kit, and order your resin today. Because once the 75 kits are sold, that's it. There's no more. So don't forget about that. All the info is in the description below. Um, I have one spot left for my workshop here in my home studio. If anyone is interested in attending and learning, uh, you know, hands-on experience to learn with me here in the studio how to do uh, a Dutch pour, you can email me at canalasaraco at gmail.com. All right, I'm too excited. I, enough talking. I want to get started on this painting. I've picked the colors out and I've been itching to get to this painting and get it started. So I'm going to do that right now. Be right back. All right, everybody, so um, working again on a 12 by 36 inch canvas. I really liked the composition in the last piece, so I'm going to do it again. And I might do it again in the next video, too, unless I have a commission, which I do have a commission I need to complete. So somewhere in between all these color splits, I got to work on a commission for some clients. All right, so um, again, color split. I'm going to be using my Artist Loft flow acrylic white my 2019 uh version here my bottle and then for my base i've got this really beautiful smoky i don't know let's let's see what color will you call this it's kind of like a grayish blue almost um it's super pretty so i shall tell you how i made this color so i used titanium white by amsterdam and then just about um, five grams. So my ratio is 55 grams. So 
Here, let me do it this way. If you've watched my paint mixing ratio tutorial video 434, um, you'll know the ratios for this. And I used about five grams of this, which is Prussian blue phthalo, okay? So the majority of that color is white and I've added a few drops of the blue. And then it was kind of like a light minty blue color. And then um, to make it darker into the smoky kind of color that you saw, I added some oxide black. All right, so you gotta play with it. Um, it took me a long time to play with it and get the color that I wanted. Um, so titanium white, Prussian blue phthalo, and a little bit of oxide black to get that nice dark color. Um, and I made extra this time, so now the cup is full to the top, so I should have enough. And for those of you who want to check out video number 434, I shall link it up here at the top for you to easily click on it. All right, so the colors I'm using today, and let me just um, tell you really, really quick. So you guys know I'm trying to work on colors for my own paint pieces in my living room. And I did that bright blue color, and then I did the smoky blue piece, which I just finished resining. They're on the end of the table over there. If I remember, I'll show them to you later. But my husband was down here and I said, honey, do you see this color split I did with the green? He's like, yeah, it looks nice. I said, I'm thinking of doing a smoky blue and maybe we'll do that for the living room. Then he takes a look at the two pieces that I did, the light blue and the smoky blue, and he actually preferred the light blue. And I'm like, no, the smoky blue would look better. So anyways, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this piece that I do today with a nice smoky blue and all of that, he'll like the split color and we'll end up doing this palette for the living room. So let's see how that pans out. So going and let's start with the colors. We've got Payne's Gray by Holbein. Then instead of gold, like I used in the last piece, because I wanna see how this piece is gonna work out for my living room, I'm using silver. And I know not everyone's a fan of gold, which is another reason why I'm using silver. So Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. Then instead of, in the last painting, I used Titanium White. This time I'm using Titanium Buff Light. So I figured that would be really pretty together, like that. And then a color I have not used in years, okay? So this, you guys see all my paints here, right? So I've got all my squeeze bottles. I'll, sh I'll try and remember to show you guys at the end of the video. A lot of people ask me where um, I got this. My father made it for me. Um, so it holds all my paints. And you can see I have probably over 140 Loli Vefi bottles. Um, I swear by these things. These are the greatest things I have ever used. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I promote Loli Vefi. I really do love these bottles. This bottle is uh, Pewter by Deco Art. okay? I haven't used this color, I don't know, probably two years or so, and the color and the paint in it is still totally fine because these bottles are airtight, okay? And because I have so many colors and bottles, all I need to do is just look at it, look at this section and say, hmm, what color goes good? Uh, what color goes well um, with the palette that I'm working on. And that's one of the bonuses with having all these bottles and having all these different colors. You don't always get to see the perfect color, let's say from a tube paint. Like when you're looking at this, it's not always easy to see what the color is gonna look like. Um, so when you have it in a squeeze bottle and you can do a little drip and, and you know, remember I showed you guys here, I still have it right here. Remember I showed you guys this? And I just put a few drips of different colors and I used my finger. And that's how you get a really good idea of what the colors would be. So I love my Loli Vefi squeeze bottles. So this color I haven't used in a really long time. So Pewter by Deco Art. Then I'm going to use a Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. And then topping it off, this super pretty Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. So those are the colors, okay? And then check it out with this beautiful blue base without spilling it because like I said, it's literally at the top. You see that? So I'm trying to show you guys, look how pretty that is. 
I love this palette. So this should be very interesting. See, I really like the way that looked together, right? So all of these look super, super nice together. So I cannot wait to get started. So Canela, stop talking. Let's go. I'm gonna flood my canvas. I'll be right back. now ready. <laughs> I cannot believe I screwed that up and went to flood the entire canvas in white paint and completely forgetting that this is a split painting. Um, I guess serves me right. Uh, you guys always know I always have like pencil lines on my canvas just so that I know which way I'm going to do things. And I didn't do it on this one because I figured, heck, there's no wispies in this. I don't need lines. And I totally forgot and I made this a complete white base. And I luckily, this was a clean plastic drop sheet that I had literally just put on. And I was able to scrape all the paint off the table and salvage it. So thank goodness for that. All right, so let's get started now after all that debacle. I hope this isn't an indication of how wrong things are going to go now since I did so poorly with that uh uh, flooding there but I was gonna stop it and then just fix it and then start recording again the flooding part but then I thought no I'm gonna let you guys see the goof up that I made because we're all human and we all make mistakes and I'm not perfect so I thought I'd leave it in just for for a chuckle why the heck not all right so let's start with the Payne's Gray I can't believe I did that. Oh my, I was so excited to get started on the painting. I wasn't even thinking and I just went whoop right away and started flooding without even realizing um, that I flooded the whole thing. And baby wipes are um, a staple to have in your uh, studio. I keep a pack of baby wipes down here. You can see them, they're right there. Um, they clean your hands so well. So staple in my um, workshop is definitely baby wipes. All right, so there goes the silver. And before I forget, if you're interested in any Loli Vefi products, um, I even have the Loli Vefi stir stick here, obviously. Um, but the squeeze bottles, the stir sticks, the silicone mats that I'm are on my table that protect my table. You can get that all at lowlyveffy.com and you can save 10% off your order using code Canela10. Oh, this uh this pewter here by DecoArt should be nice. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I feel nervous now, like I jinxed myself by screwing up with the flood of the canvas. I can't believe I did that. Oh man, and, and that right there. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be painting today, I don't know. All right, and topping it off, we've got the pearl. That's a lot of paint. I, I loaded that one up, that's for sure. All right, let's pop the bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to stick to the same kind of blowout pattern I did in the last video. So I'm going to just kind of, I guess, start my way here and see what happens.
See, I was so excited about it. <laughs> And I feel like I let myself down. No. Um, I don't know what to think. And I can't even scrape it because I'm not saying I'm going to scrape it or I hate it. It's just um, let me let it sit. Maybe some cells will form as I'm jibber jabbering here. But um, this is why gold to me works in paintings and not silver. Um, and I know everybody doesn't love gold and I don't even love gold, but in paintings it works. And because I don't see any gold in this, I feel like it's not working for me. Um, I, I wish there was more of this darker blue um, in here or especially here. Um, I got to look at this some more. Hold on. First, I got to fix a few parts because there are some parts I definitely need to work on. So, Okay, that I didn't like the way that looked so that looks um, a lot better I really like this part here I wish there was some more of the dark blue in here it's missing a lot and I'm, I'm kind of disappointed about that um, this part's okay um, I love the base color I really really am happy with the base um, I just don't know what's missing and I, I honestly think it's the gold I, I really do think gold would have popped more, but I wanted to see it in silver because A, I wanted to see how it looked to see if I would put it in my own living room, um, which I do like it. So I'll have to see what Matt thinks about it. But also not everybody loves gold and a lot of people want to see silver. So that's why I did silver as well. Just blowing some excess blue off the edge there. I really do love this piece. This is, I think this is the part that's throwing me off. This part right here, when I bring you in for a close-up, you'll see why. It's missing a lot of the dark phthalo blue. Um, and and I'm, you know, that's the part that's kicking me right now is, is just that. So I am going to um, fix my edges and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I've gone ahead and fixed all my edges, as you can see, and I've already actually scraped the drips. Um, so just, I'll actually, I'll just do it again, even though I just did it. But don't forget, see, there's still, I literally just did it two seconds ago. So that just goes to show you how fast the paint drips off the sides. So do it three times, give it about 10 minutes between each uh, scraping. All right, so um, the more I look at it, actually, now the more I really like it. Um, there's just one part in this that I'm not overly crazy of, and that's that part right here. Um, I'm not thrilled about that, but I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to fidget with it because I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up. So I'm just going to leave it, but I really do love the rest of it. So um, let me bring you guys close. Um, let me get rid of this. Sorry, reflection. Let's try that again. Um, that should be better. But uh, I'm curious to see how this is going to dry because there's one, two, three shimmery colors in this painting. And that light blue right there in the center, that's the Glacier Blue by, it was Glacier, right? Something like that. But uh, by Arteza. So, and I know that's going to shimmer for sure. Um, it's going to like glow when it's dry. And I really, really love this upper part here. I really like the dark. I kind of was hoping for a little bit more of the dark blue to be more dominant in this piece. So as I said, like that spot right here is the one spot of this whole painting I'm not thrilled about, but the rest of it I love. And I have a feeling that part here is gonna shimmer a lot because that is all the metallics in there. So let's see what it's like with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on. Yeah, see, it's, it's definitely, yeah, look at the silver in here. So I have a feeling when this dries, um, it's really going to look a heck of a lot better once it's dry, but you can definitely see the shimmer in here. And this is the part I was telling you about right here. 
This is all the Pearl by Arteza, and we all know how those colors just come to life once it's dry. So I'll be very curious to see what that looks like when it dries. And this part here, if that whole thing is silver, silver shimmer in there. And there's a little bit of the titanium buff light. So even that color really disappeared. Now that I think about it, that color has completely disappeared from this painting. I think there's a little bit of it in here, right there. But uh, yeah, most of it did go away. But I do love the colors. I'm really happy with the colors. So there you have it, everyone. Um, I'd love to know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think? Should I have used gold instead of silver? Do you like the silver? Like, I mean, I always want to try silver and gold. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know. I really like it. Um, it is available for purchase if anyone is interested in this piece. Uh, I'm going to wait till it dries and then show my husband and see what he thinks. But I th really do think I'm going to go with a color split for my living room. Um, and speaking of color splits, um, I'm thinking about some other color patterns. I was thinking about maybe like a warm brown or a beigey kind of color as the base. I'm thinking also maybe like a Bordeaux or like a wine color not too dark because we all know these colors are going to dry darker um you know they're not going to look like this they are going to dry darker so i'm thinking of like a bordeaux maybe even something like this um this one's mortem cup mortem violet i don't even know if i said that right by amsterdam or even this one this would be a pretty color permanent red violet that's pretty oh that reminds me let me show you this. So this is where I house all my Loli Vefi bottles. And right now I have them organized by brand. So up here is all my Amsterdam and my Windsor & Newton um, back there at the end. This row here is all my Arteza. This row here is all my Pebeo. And then down here I have Artist Loft and Liquitex Basics. Um, but yeah, my father made this for me, um, and it is the greatest thing. It closes up and has a latch for locking, um, which I never close up, obviously. But you can see I have a lot of Loli Vefi bottles. A lot, a lot of Loli Vefi bottles. So, um, so yeah, if you want Loli Vefi stuff, I have the silicone mats here and the stir sticks and all kinds of stuff. Uh, lowlyveffy.com and save 10% off using code canela 10 uh, there is my light blue painting there is my dark blue painting so all kinds of stuff I was resining last night but yeah I'm really thinking the color split is going to be the way to go so let me know what you think in the comments below um, give me some ideas what do you want to see as a base color split and it's got to be something like smoky like this it can't be like you know like a bright green or a bright yellow or anything like that I want to do continue this type of color palette of like a smokiness kind of thing you know just kind of um, nothing pop or vibrant all right so let me know what you think give me your ideas maybe I'll do that in one of my upcoming videos so yeah everything else you need to know is listed in the description below check out the description there's a lot of information in there if you are watching and you are not subscribed I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and that is it for now, for me. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.